This video illustrates the use of the Michigan Groundwater Management Tool to visualize hydrogeologic and lithologic data in cross-sectional profiles and using three-dimensional views. Cross-sections are drawn through multiple wells, which are then plotted in profile, depicting the detailed lithology and information from each well. Similarly, a three-dimensional rendering of well logs, bedrock geology, and other aspects of the modeling framework, such as DEM, bedrock elevations, streams and lakes, and road networks are illustrated. These powerful tools can be used to visualize complex information and can provide valuable insights into the hydrogeologic processes. The steps to create the model are as follows. 1. Click on Select Polygon Features and double click on Ottawa County, Michigan. 2. A Model Options window will appear. Use the default options and click Apply. This will create a flow field for the whole of Ottawa County. 3. Expand and check the Wells group and check the All Wells layer. This displays all of the existing wells in this area. 4. Zoom into the middle portion of the county and click on Track Polyline for Cross Section and draw a polyline passing through wells in the map. To start drawing, single click on each vertex of the polyline. To finish the polyline, double click at the last vertex. 5. A cross-section view comes up showing the land surface, the interpolated water table surface from the interpolated flow field, the bedrock top, and the individual well logs. The well logs show different colors corresponding to the various lithologic materials present, such as sand, clay, or sandstone. Information about each well, such as the surface elevation, thickness of each lithologic material, the depth to the bedrock top, and the water table is displayed below. 6. Notice that a red arrow indicating the location of the cursor moves in the plan view map as the cursor is moved along the cross section. Seven, click on the more button on the left hand side of the cross section to show the display options. Check Marshall and Coldwater and click OK. This will display the Marshall sandstone formation elevations and the Coldwater shale formation elevations. 8. Scroll through the list of wells to display detailed information about each well. 9. Click on the Select 3D Model Area and draw a polygon around the area that needs to be visualized in 3D. 10. The 3D Model Options window will appear with default information on the number of rows and columns and the grid size of the 3D model. Go to the Layer Information tab and select the following layers. Wells, Streams, Order 3 and Greater, All Roads, Lakes, Class 4 and Greater, and then click OK. Eleven, the 3D model opens up, uncheck DEM water table and water table bedrock. Under GW flow, uncheck water table. Use the screen navigation icon to rotate and view the 3D model from different angles. Twelve, increase the vertical exaggeration factor from two to ten. This displays the 3D model in a larger size. It is also possible to pan and move the 3D model for easy display. Rotate the model to display the well logs, DEM, and bedrock top surface clearly. The dark colors shown in the well logs represent confining materials, such as clay or shale, while the lighter colors represent aquifer materials such as sand or gravel. 13. Under Elevation, the DEM or bedrock layers can easily be turned on or off for your convenience. Fourteen. To add more data layers to the 3D rendering, click on the Set 3D Model Options. Go to the Layer Information tab and under the Formation Elevation LP group, check Marshall, Coldwater, and Atrium to display these bedrock formations and click OK. Uncheck DEM Water Table, 
water table bedrock, and cold water underscore atrium to see the various layers clearly. Note that the dark brown shaded area indicates the Marshall layer while the green shading indicates the cold water layer.